Okay, so let's finish this one and uh, we still have three questions remaining in Mr. Amos questions. So the fourth question is, I saw your, uh, you used the material tool in your cut out tutorial. I can't seem to find it. Okay, Amos, it's so easy. Just go and check this one. This is the material tab and you can find a lot of materials here by selecting this one and then go to the catalogs and the material catalogs so you will have outdoor uh, click the arrows here at the side and you will have for floors wood paving other back a uh, brick and for the outdoor you will also have roof coverings sky walls so for walls you will have concrete wood and bricks and water also you will have water in the outdoor options and if you want to go back to the uh, textures or the indoor go to the texture tab again here and then press the indoor or check the arrow here so you'll have your options for the floors and then for the ceiling window furniture doors and walls and if you don't like these textures and you want to go for the colors only go, just check this uh, color tab and you will have the different color raw colors for this color collections like for example the blue the violet violet and then the orange and red and again if you don't like the colors and the materials available here in Dallas Evo you can just create your own texture material by importing your materials from your library or from your computer and you can also create your color by selecting it here and then just use it for example you like this green yellow green color then you want to apply it here then just apply it like that okay and then what else so let's go and check what else so your cut out tutorial all right so cut cut out the cut out tool is here so press this cut out tab and then you can use a rectangular tab like for example you want to cut your walls or you want to cut out your ceiling or you want to cut out a circular cut out and then you will have it so you cut your ceiling and you cut your walls and then um, what's next next question is can I use the beam object such as chair from the beam object site and how or rather in the aperture tool how can I download the chairs catalog cabin or something and import it so I checked the beam, all about the beam. So what is the beam? This is the beam objects. And I noticed that you also have uh, different uh, 3D objects here. So what I'm going to tell you, um, Amos, is as long as this object has that 3DS file extension file name or that uh, MD3 file name, you can upload or import it in Dialux Evo. Otherwise, you cannot. So make sure it's that 3DS or that MD3, all right? If you can convert it into this uh, file name, then it's better. If you cannot, no, you cannot upload it in Dialux Evo. Better convert it first. Um, in uh, There are lots of objects inside the Dialux Evo, and if you're not happy with it, you can upload it. But here, if you go to this Object tab and go to the Select tab, you will have a lot of options. These are um, objects default from Dialux Evo. So go to the objects. You will have home furniture, office, sanitary, shop designs, outdoor planning, street planning, and addition. And again, go to that arrow tabs. So you will have more options. Okay. All right. So next, um, in my first try of the project, my light fittings pass from the roof past the floor to infinity and I have tried to change the height with no success. It's so easy, don't get so frustrated about that. So if you want to edit the height of your fitting, for example, this one, just click the fitting. You can either do that by right clicking on that and then move, so up and down or left and right you can also check that one in the side view or the elevation view here 
okay so make sure you know these tabs and yeah you can check it there or you can do it digitally by placing it here so check your luminaire and at the bottom you'll see mounting height if you say i want to mount it uh, precisely in 1.6 meter then just type 1.6 and you will have it say 1.2 then you will have it in 1.2 okay so you can do it manually using the elevation view or digitally by putting your values here or also in your 3d if you can do that precisely all right so that's it and um yeah that's all so thank you amos for your questions and i hope you learned something from my videos and if you want to know more just watch all my videos so you will learn more and more all right see you again next videos